This episode of Lost Anarchy Presents has been brought to you by Ziggurat.com. Question number one. Jedi or Sith? Okay, let's take a second to think about this. Oh, second's over. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go Sith all the way on that. Kinda lame. It's like, would you rather be a ninja or a Buddhist monk? Yeah, Buddhist monks can kick some ass, but... Ninjas are just way more badass. Just think of it this way, in a dark alley, what would you rather see coming up behind you? A bunch of monks or a bunch of ninjas? I'd be okay with the monks. A bunch of ninjas would scare the shit out of me. But I'm a predator, so I'd fucking kill them anyway, so I ain't that worried. But yeah, monks, ninjas, Sith, Jedi, Sith, hands down. Question number two. What's your favorite world? I'll give Korriban Coruscant kind of an honorable mention, but it's gotta be Kashyyyk. Chewbacca is a Wookiee from the planet Kashyyyk. Chewbacca comes from Kashyyyk, not Endor. What is your favorite species? With species, I gotta go with Wookiees. <laughs> Given I'd never really want to be a hairy fucking Wookiee, but... <laughs> what are you doing here, you son of a bitch? <laughs> Wookiees are bad. Yeah, complain! 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 <laughs> Wookie would rip the arms off of a Klingon any day of the goddamn week, I tell you what. What type of lightsaber would you use, lightsaber color, and what fighting style? <laughs> For lightsaber, I can't think of anything to rival XR Kun's lightsaber. This thing's a single hilt, so it's not big and bulky by being like a wand, and each blade will go extend up to 15 feet in either direction. <laughs> <laughs> so say you throw that son of a bitch, that's a 30 foot kill radius just by swinging around from end to end. Not to mention if you're fighting somebody, if they're within 15 feet you can extend that all the way and kill them! I'm just saying, it's... nothing rivals it. Color? I gotta go with green. Just cause green's my favorite color, and yeah, green it is. There's nothing else I can think about. <laughs> <laughs> for its fighting form, I would have to go for a Makashi, because... Apparently that is the one where it's more defensive oriented, where you basically bait your opponent to make the wrong step. When they make the wrong step, you do the kill. So, Makashi, XR Kun's lightsaber with a green hill. Question number five. What is your favorite vehicle? That's no moon. It's a fucking shithole. Well, I'm gonna be Sith here. I gotta have two vehicles in my possession. That's all I need. A Death Star where I can blow up fucking planets, and a Sun Crusher where I can take out the whole fucking solar system if I want to. Um, could you cover it for me while I hit the head? I'm, uh, sitting on a cigar here. You mean drive the Death Star? We all know the power of the Death Star. <laughs> Sun Crusher, some of you might know, it shoots a little projectile. And basically causes the star to go supernova, destroying every planet within the fucking solar system. Death Star, Sun Crusher, nobody could fuck with me. All rise in the presence of Dark Helmet! And yes, for a flagship, you would have Spaceball One. It's <laughs> so fucking huge. I can't breathe in this thing! Next question. If you were a Jedi, who would your Jedi Master be? <laughs> yeah, it's gonna have to be Yoda. You still have. Yoda knows more than anybody else. He... He's just the master of the Jedi side. Nobody can top Yoda. Now, um, doing what are you tonight? Hmm? Yoda, Yoda, Yoda. When I come over and, um, get wasted? Question seven. If you were Sith, who would your master be? That'd have to be Plagueis, because Plagueis was about whole, like, Sith mastery of knowing everything about everything about everything. That's why the Emperor was like, oh yeah, I knew this one dude that, you know, could bring people back to life. Who taught him that? Plagueis. He was a scholar of Sith, so... It'd have to be Plagueis. Next question. What would your Darth name be? <laughs> Darth motherfucker, motherfucker. Well, Darth Predator work or Darth Ziggurat since I sell Ziggurats anyways, but uh, yeah. Darth motherfucker. It's the one that says bad motherfucker. What is your favorite and least favorite Star Wars movie film? 
Well, it's not quite a no-brainer, because when I was younger, I liked Jedi the best, and now that I'm older, I probably like Empire the best. So, uh, both? It's a trap! For worst, Episode 1. This 2 at least had some shit in it that was meh. Like, the end of Episode 2 was cool, the whole, like, Yoda fighting shit. But, yeah, Episode 1 was utter blasphemy. He felt like he needed a rape shower after seeing that thing in the movie theaters. He lied to yourself for a second or two, but... <laughs> No, it was just bad. Episode 1 was crap. Well done. You could write a Star Wars novel. What would it be about? How about a predator that... ...turns into a Sith and starts hunting Jedi. There we go. Look, until we figure out what's going on here, as long as your mouth is moving, your line. Sith Predator hunting Jedi. Done deal. Next question is, what was your favorite film soundtrack? Well, what song can possibly pop in your head at any given fucking moment of any fucking day? The Cantina Band song. So therefore, we'll never find the more wretched hive of scum and villainy. Have to be episode four because the Cantina Band song is on episode four. Danke schön. Wir sind die Cantina Band. Wenn ihr Songwünsche habt, ruft sie einfach. Spielt denselben Song nochmal. Alles klar, denselben Song und los. There you go, Cantina Band. Do you still collect action figures? The hell kind of a square do you expect me to be here uh, collecting action figures? Well, I do have a, a, a collection of action figures, but still collecting. No, I like them for their monetary Jewish value, not. Because I'm a nerd and like to play with fucking toys. In your opinion, what is the best and worst thing about the Star Wars Extended Universe? Extended Universe kicks ass. I just don't need to say any more about that. Favorite? Uh, tells you all the crap that you want to know that you didn't know, that they need, you know, all the side stories they need to do. All that shit's in there. So yeah, Extended Universe kicks ass. Worst thing about the Extended Universe is they killed off Chewbacca. What the fuck shit is that? You cannot kill fucking Chewie. And final question. What does Star Wars mean to you? I well, since I grew up on this shit, a lot. Like, I've always wanted a fucking lightsaber, I'd love to have the Force. Uh, yeah, Star Wars kicks a shitload of asshole, and I can't wait for the fucking new shit to come out. It's J.J. Abrams, but better not fucking disappoint us. And I have a feeling he won't. I think it's gonna be some badass shit that we've been waiting fucking 30 years for, so... Yes, love Star Wars, it means a lot. <laughs> And there you have it. So please feel free to, uh, you know, send some comments this way if you agree or disagree with any of the shit that I said. But if you disagree, fuck you. And if you agree, yeah, cool. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe or I will scratch your eyeballs out. This episode has been brought to you by Ziggret.com. There's nothing fake about it. We're the source for electronic cigarettes. Welcome to the 21st century. Quit smoking and start vaping. No tar, no secondhand smoke, no pollution, no offensive odors. Smoke without the guilt. We carry everything from egos to traditional electric cigarettes and a full line of accessories. So please come on down to Ziggret.com. All of our flavors are produced right here in the United States. And we can even say our flavors are kosher. So for the best flavors, the best vaping experience, that you can get, go to ziggred.com. And remember, all the flavor you will get vaping on your cigarette at ziggred.com. That's Z I G R E T.com.